group. So um, they need to add that. Very difficult task. See if they can't add that, can a manager come in? Do you believe that a manager, a different type of manager, can come in and get that from a certain amount of players that maybe haven't shown it already? Yeah, I don't, I don't think we can kid ourselves on that we're going to get that level of player to come to, to Rangers again, that's money-wise especially. But um, when you come, you can get a good level of player and guys who have a good character about mm -hmm. them and, and as you say, a good personality about them, which is an essential requirement. And Rangers need that mm -hmm. more than anything else at the present moment. They need an influx of player who's going to lift them from where they are at the present moment. So that's what I think has been shown in this first season back. So I don't think we should be surprised that Rangers are maybe second or, or even third in the league because Aberdeen, Derek McInnes has done a great job with them over a period. Very settled club now. So Rangers, um, if they're going to go forward, never mind new managers and you know directors of football mm -hmm. or whatever they're going to bring in, first team they, they need an increase in the level of player. Neil McCann was very clear and he said that uh, he wanted Derek McInnes to be the next Rangers manager. Who would you like? Um, I would like somebody that was going to bring a level of success to the club. That's <laughs> what I'd like. I, I, I'm maybe not so good at picking managers, but uh, I, I would, uh, yes, I would like to see Derek getting an opportunity to, to do that. I mean, I had him as a player. Um, as I say, as a manager, he's done a good job. Wherever he is, he's been down to Bristol, got innumerable problems there in the financial sense. Has come back to Aberdeen, four years there. He's brought a stability to a club, um, or helped bring a stability to the club along with Stuart Mullen. Uh, very stable. Mm -hmm. they, they play to their strengths. They uh, get there. He's adapted to what he's got. And um, I don't think uh, Rangers would go far wrong um, and, and attempting to uh, to get Derek. But I've got no idea who we're going to go for. Pedro Caixina is a name that's come up. Apparently, he's the favourite at the moment. The board have been talking to him. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of him? Do you know much about him? No, Neil? I don't. I don't know a great deal. About I don't him. know a, a lot about. I'm a little bit worried. I have to say. Now, if he's got a, a certain pedigree um, abroad, we're, we're going to be left with the same problems, I believe, if he comes into this environment now. It took Mark a bit of time to get up to speed. And ultimately, I don't think he dealt with that scrutiny and the level of expectation here at Rangers. I think it got too much for him in the end. Um, he'll have his reasons why it didn't work out on the pitch. But if we bring in someone else into our game in Scotland that probably doesn't know the league, doesn't know the environment, then what are Rangers fans going to get from the dugout? And if he hasn't got the money to spend, he'll probably, I'd imagine, go to his home country and bring those types of players into here. Are they going to get it? So I believe it's a big risk if they're going to go down that road with Rangers. Goodness me, it's only 10 years since Paul Le Guin. Now, let's hear from the man who is in charge of Rangers today. It's Graham Murty with Charles Patterson. Graham, what has Wednesday's win done for confidence in your team ahead of this one today? I think we'll see that today. Hopefully it's added lots to the team, it's added lots, lots to their belief um, and I've just reinforced to them the good things that we did. There was lots of good stuff to go on and on and about, about the chances that we created, the way we moved the ball and I want to reiterate that to them. It's about them and how they approach the game. Hamilton also won in midweek. They got a draw here earlier in the season. How do you expect this game to pan out this afternoon? I think it's going to be tense. I think that we're going to have the ball. I think that Hamilton are going to be very, very well organised and try and upset what we try and do. But we have to accept that, embrace it and go and actually be patient with the football as well as having a really, really, really strong cutting edge. Do the fans also need to be patient if you're trying to break Hamilton down, given the way they played in midweek? I, th I think that's difficult to, to put everything onto the fans. We have to give the fans reason to get up out of their seats and it's down to us to approach the game in the right way. So if we do that properly at the start, then they'll get behind us, I have no doubt, and we can lift each other forwards. Good luck this afternoon. Thank you very much indeed.